my name is Andrew Blooms. I'm working on an electrical box here in Candler Park on the corner of McLendon and Candler. I decided to do a dragon on this piece because I'm studying traditional Japanese and Chinese painting as well as tattooing. So I just figured I wanted to put a dragon that wrapped around this whole box and kind of met its head at its tail on the other side. And for the colors, I've actually never done this color scheme before, but I've seen it and I've really always wanted to do it. So I'm going to do a blue body and then have all the accents be red and then have the smoke be more, I think I'm going to do white. Traditionally, a dragon symbolizes a lot of different things, uh, depending on the country too. Um, but for me, I'm painting dragons as kind of, right now, I'm kind of viewing them as somewhat of self-portraits. Um, something about uh, the process of creating a dragon is very, in a lot of ways, very arduous. It's very detail-oriented. It takes a lot of just time and focus. And for me, it's kind of, I kind of am envisioning myself at this time in that way, at this point in my career, I would say. And I've never even been able to say I have an art career, which is crazy. This is really the first time I've been able to really uh, do art for a living. I always do the eyes last because that's when you can put the final expression of the dragon. And a lot of my dragons, um, some are fierce, but I, some, a lot of them, if you really look at their eyes, they look a little scared. And so that's kind of, I don't know, I feel in some ways that I'm getting to experience something very special in my life right now through art, but it's very different, you know? For me too is expressing my culture through my art and showing everyone how amazing it is and how beautiful it is.